What I learned in sports this week is that the NFL needs to make a radical change. It'll be unpopular and disliked by many around the game. And no, this has nothing to do with protests, any shows of unity, nor will the name President Donald Trump make a cameo in this column. This change is 100% about an issue on the field. Thursday night, when Chicago Bears linebacker Danny Trevathan went in like a missile on Green Bay Packers wide receiver Devontae Adams, he should have been ejected from the game. Trevathan went in high, went in late, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He used the crown of his helmet to knock the wide receiver out of the game. Trevathan should have left the game with an ejection. Instead, he was only flagged 15 yards for unsportsmanlike conduct. In the offseason, the NFL's competition committee put teams on notice that certain illegal hits that were previously punishable by just 15 yards would be open to immediate ejection and suspension even under a first offense. Trevathan's hit was a missed moment by the league to show just how serious they are about this new rule. However, before I get on any soapbox railing against referee John Hussey for his failure in the moment, let me show grace and leniency that few do for officials. From my perspective I just didn't see enough to rise to that level, Hussey told a pool reporter. That issue I would have is a judgment call. Was it egregious, was it completely unnecessary? I didn't have enough information from my perspective to make that. Being a football official is a thankless job for many reasons. Many of us, who complain or tell officials what a horrible job they do, Sit at home with the luxury of instant replay and DVR. Let's make this real simple on officials, the referees, and those who dole out suspensions. The NFL should adopt college football's targeting rule. Targeting includes launching or leading with the helmet, shoulder, forearm, fist, hand, or elbow with forcible contact at the head or neck area. The punishment, according to the NCAA, if the foul occurs in the first half of a game, the player is ejected for the remainder of the game. If the foul occurs in the second half or overtime of a game, the player is ejected for the remainder of the game and the first half of the next contest. Under the college targeting guidelines, Trevathan would have been ejected and suspended for the first half of the following week with no debate, no ruling by the league, no appeals. No fuss, no mess. The targeting rule would have also given Hussey time to make a decision with Director of Officiating Alberta River on making the ultimate call at the NFL's Central Command Unit. But how effective is it? For some, making the play at any cost is worth the payment. The NFL and college football pride themselves on being unique from one another, but what's the harm in using a rule if it's effective and makes sense? Imagine a player going off the field at a critical moment of the game or having to sit in a locker room during the first half of the following week. Make no doubt about it, $10,000 fines will sting a player, especially those on rookie salaries or at the league minimum.